Hello and welcome to another Munchable Maths video. This is the show where we learn all about the magic of numbers and we also get to eat some delicious things. As always, we have the mystery box. Let's see what's inside today. Ooh, this is quite interesting. We have marshmallows attached to string. And we also have a note. Hi Masa, please make marshmallow necklaces. Each string should have exactly 10 marshmallows. Let's count, let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we could do this a couple of different ways. I could continue to put on more marshmallows and keep counting until I reach 10. Or we could also use a 10 frame, my favorite thing to use. How do we use a 10 frame to put marshmallows on a string? We know that this string has one, two, three, four, five marshmallows on it. So I'm going to put five counters into my 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. Now all we have to do is find out how many empty boxes are left. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus five equals 10. So if I just put these five marshmallows onto my string, which already has five, it should equal 10. Shall we do that now? There's the last one. Now let's count to make sure we have 10. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we've just made ourselves a marshmallow necklace. Very cool. Did you know that this is actually a very important math skill? I like to call it ways to 10. Ways to 10 are different numbers that when we put them together equal 10. And we just found one of them, five and five. Let's try one together. Now, as we see in our 10 frame, we have, let's count together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six counters. How many more do we need to make 10? Can you count? One, two, three, four, six, and four make 10. Good job. Let's finish off the rest of these marshmallow necklaces. Ooh, that has a lot. So I think we need to start by counting how many marshmallows we have. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight marshmallows. So let's put down eight counters. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many more do we need to make 10? That's right. Count the empty boxes. One, two, eight, and two make 10. Now I can make this marshmallow necklace. Look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we have one last string. Aha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we put down seven counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would need one, two, three more marshmallows to make 10 because seven and three make 10. All right, I guess I have to make this marshmallow necklace now.
Oh, there we go. Look at that. Shall we count and make sure we have 10? Okay, this time you count by yourself. Ready? Go. There's one more way to 10. Can you guess? Five and five, six and four, seven and three, eight and two. There's one missing. Do you know what it is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one. Nine and one also make 10. So what did we learn today? We learned that there are different ways to 10. Five and five, six and four, seven and three, eight and two, nine and one. We also learned that we can use our 10 frame to find those ways to 10. And this is what I love about math is the ways to 10 never change. So you only have to learn them once and they'll stay with you for your whole life. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click like and subscribe if you want to watch more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.